Greetings and good day, YouTube. How are you doing today? I myself am doing pretty good. Uh, dealing with. I'm not gonna get too much into Dale, but we're dealing with a, a pretty harsh boss and whatnot from Darkest Dungeon. At least the recovery has been speedily, so that that kind of alleviates the sorrow and depression. Not that I'm feeling depression, but this is kind of uh, jokingly saying this. The sorrow and depression that I'm feeling for the reason we're now in our second campaign of Darkest Dungeon. Regardless of that, we are going to be continuing where we left off yesterday, which was getting to the last island. We had just gotten three stars in Isla Pena, or Isla Pena. I'm not sure how to say it properly. And now we are in Site B. A.K.A. Isla Sorna, if I'm not mistaken. And I decided that I was going to check that island out at the start of today's stream. Now, while we are doing that, I'd like to say for those of you that are currently watching on YouTube, I do thank you for stopping by and I do hope you enjoy the adventure we're about to go on. If you're new to the kingdom and you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe to the channel before you do your daily stuff. Leave a like if you like and comment if you feel so inclined to do so. And utilize links in the description below to catch me on my other locations. I.e. my Twitch, where you can follow me there and catch me when I go live at 8pm EST EDT every weekday. Would love to see you there. Regardless of that, let's check out Isla Thorna. Wait, what did that say about climate? Hold on. What did that say about climate? Stop, stop. I'm panicking. Uh, the ultimate challenge for your operations in the five deaths. Once vast engine facility. Okay, never mind. I thought there was something about climate, but ultimate challenge. My brain turned into ultimate climate for some reason. We have six million dollars to start with. So. Let's see what we have to do with this island. This does seem like the island where... We cage in the visitors. Kind of a situation. This is Isla Sorna. You've got a larger landmass to deal with on this island. More opportunities for success, and uh, of course for the unexpected, which uh, shouldn't be unexpected, but you know, it just always is. Yep. This is where you, you cage in the visitors. And An island Dr. Malcolm is all too familiar with. Site B. Long since reclaimed by nature, mostly. Taming this place will likely be your toughest challenge yet. And speaking of taming, <laughs> a number of wild attractions make up the local population. Full disclosure, some of them have very long and very sharp teeth. Do not let this place fool you. Like Central Park in New York City, what appears to be nature is actually an elaborate illusion. On this island, the oh. dinosaurs are running wild. But that can't be true because they're contained, aren't they? Their situation and their existence is both artificial and real. A recursive nightmare. Like the dragon curve. There's a fuck mother in Spinosaurus over here. Mandelbrot set. Fractal. Fraction. Fractured. All from the same root word. Frangir. Latin for to break. So you see, creation and destruction are really one and the same. So many stegosauruses, first of all. Oh god, how am I gonna deal with this? Okay, first things first. Um, we are apparently making money. Yes, we are making money. We're gonna need... Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. We need storm defense, apparently we do have an ACU. Uh wow, and why is that open to the public? Okay. So first things first. We need to expand this section of the park. We need a hotel. We need the ability to travel. Um oh boy. The 
block that off as best as possible. Just just make a little a little protection thing. I hate I hate how there's a big opening right here. We could hold on, we, we could do is we could just make a big ass fuck off. That doesn't work like that. Oh god. All right. Um This is not what I anticipated. This is thrown me for a loop. Let's see what we got. We can't do any research or anything like that. All right. We need a ranger state. We need bait. Okay. I thought I was going to have a lot more to deal with. I don't. What are, the, what are the requirements right now? We're making money, so I have enough time to think about what we need. Um, we need 16 different species of dinosaurs. Okay. So, we have two options. Option one, we enclose the dinosaurs, right? That would make sense. We enclose the dinosaurs, make a couple of things over here, a couple of things over here. Option two, we keep this park the exact way that it is. For shits and giggles just to see if we can do it and make like a generalized area like over here and and like push these dinosaurs over here and have this area and this area be the main attraction for the dinosaur or we make miniaturized enclosure like over here we keep one over here we do one and like over here we try and do one yeah what do you think? Uh, cause I, in all honesty, I have not a clue what to do. Well, first things first, let's cut this off. Well, we're making a bunch of money. Let's let's cut this off and make this area the research center, all that, right? Power research. This will be the main facility, basically. All right. So this will be a fairly big area. I'm a little nervous. Here, here, here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, my nervousness is now minimalized, right? Okay, so we're gonna make basically all the operational stuff over here. Power, operation, stuff like that. That's what's gonna come over here. Uh... I was making a joke. 
I, I did, couldn't tell you what part it was in, but I was making a joke about potentially making an enclosure with a people. I like the exhibits in quotation marks. And the dinosaurs are roaming free. The fact that this is literally that makes it to where I kind of want to try and make this manageable. If I can. Uh. I need to change. I need to change title and. Game. Um. Enclosing the people. That's what we're doing in Jurassic World Evolution right now. So, that will be the name of... That's annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. I mean, we don't technically need all that like that, I don't think. We just need a... a like a... We kind of just need a window, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it, we just have certain areas we need to make sure have a little bit of a protection, a uh, protective fencing kind of a situation. I really don't know if we'll need something like that. Lambert here with a new contract. I've spec'd it out, and I think you would be perfect for it. That terrifies me. The fact that the Spinosaurus is literally right there. You're missing wetland? Oh, God. Um, um, um. Let's make sure he's happy. You happy now? Yeah, you're happy now. <laughs> now, landscaping, uh, remove. That's useful. I didn't realize that that's exactly how it worked, but I should have. All right, first things first. Power. We're gonna need at least three medium power stations to start with. What does it take to get to large, though? Oh, we don't. We need. We need to build the facilities. All right. Operations first. Expedition center. We can afford easily enough. Gotcha. So those two being built there is fine with me, and then a research center for the third thing over here. Beautiful, love to see it. Oh, you want me to connect paths too, don't you, game? Yeah, you want me to connect paths. That's a little annoying. Okay, we're gonna experiment a little bit. Hold up. 
We're gonna go to guests. We're gonna make a monorail station. Uh, like over here, like so. Because I want to build a. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Might as well try and make a sight line over here so we can make profits. I think exactly how I want to do this. I guess something like that. So my old question is, can I do this and kind of negate the need for a path? don't know. I'm about to find out, though. That's just annoying. this will work like this i don't think it will but goodness do i hope it'll work like this wait it actually does look like it's working like this hold on wait a minute oh it does work like that that's actually phenomenal dude that's that's actually phenomenal. We could make a giant system of Yeah, we're gonna have to probably position this in a different position Have this go out this way and this come in this way like that if we can uh, The fact that that works that way is glorious Power medium power station Actually hold up hold up hold up. Oh, we need power first large substation We'll do that for now because we need to make sure we get at least mediums can we put all three of the ones that we kind of want to get over here one think we'll be able to do three primarily because of that situation right there and we throw down an ACU station no uh, can we throw down a storm defense can, but I mean... Whatever. 
that that'll work. Spinosaurus and the Stegosaurus is fighting. I can't do anything about that. to tackling this contract at least look it over sure we almost have no power outages oh that's a big fucking spider yeah you go run away and oh you little shit Alright, that's great. So, you got a Spinosaurus, uh, so Stegosaurus, you killed Mr. Spinosaurus. <laughs> Alright. We got some fossils. I mean, we really probably don't need the currency right now. But we might as well extract what we- Yeah, we sh we do. We're actually kind of low. And we're gonna probably- Okay, we're still making a profit. What research do we have? We need to make sure we always get medical treatments first. Tapeworm parasite, algae poisoning, salmonella bacteria, and the final one is tuberculosis. Well, that ate a lot of... Oh, I kind of messed up there a little bit. Fossil center. Inventory space. This is the final ones we can actually get away with doing or utilizing I should say So we might as well expedition center you guessed it dig yield I've reported your success up the chain of command well done and then Speed cost cost Okay We're not gonna expedite yet, or expedition, I should say yet. We're gonna make sure we bad weather storm makes warning. for mad dinosaurs, and we're in for a boatload of it. We don't have. Take cover until the conditions have passed. Well, that's kind of sucks. Make a little bit of a redesign of this area. Let's keep getting rid of the fossils that we don't need, like the things that we don't need from the expeditions. Uh, let's keep extracting what we can. Pretty expensive. Let's send out some expedition maps, I think. There we go. Stegosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Spinosaurus. There they are. There's the Spinosaurus. Muta Burra Source, whatever the hell that is. We got any other fossils we can do? No, we need to get the Isla Pena and Isla Sorna. Isla, Isla Sorna Science, Isla Pena. Or Pena. And we need. Okay. Maybe? What was your trike's name? I do not remember what your trike's name was. Uh. 
Oh shit. Um, enclosures, we actually need a gate, hilariously enough. And we need a ranger station. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Because we need to actually repair a couple of places. The research there is done. We are at a million dollars now. Alright. Security center. We're going to get rid of that. Um, I don't want to cut this area off now that I'm looking at it. Hopefully that'll be good. We don't all possibly. It might have died of old age. Consider it carefully. Lithromimus specimens. We're gonna make so many dinosaurs soon. Let's get a research one done. Uh, more money is always good. We're gonna probably be able to make more profit than we could possibly imagine via, um... There's that spider. Hold on. Yes. Give me a second. I'm, I'm on a quest. Come on. Go up there. Like he knows. I'm not going to stop. I, I apologize for the delay. Just give me a minute. The fucker's literally just stand, like on the side. Like I have my this this notebook where I write like little ideas and whatnot on the thing. And the page is open. And the page is hanging off my desk. If it were to walk a little bit forward and go on the flat of it, I could take it out. But he ain't fucking moving. It's a big motherfucker, too. Hold on. My apologies for the distraction there. I 
have no idea where that fucking thing is now. All right, let's get back on track. My apologies. Okay, that's not gonna work how I want it to. This will be a good block off point. I really do hope it will be. This is not a good block off point. Another fight I can't do nothing about. so tempted to try and close the entirety of the outside just to make it a little bit easier for me to enclose it later down the line but for the time being I'll stick with what we got going on oh that's so fucking annoying I mean, this seems a little bit bigger than it, than we need. But that should be more than enough, because if a dinosaur gets behind here... Hello. I was wondering if you'd be interested in a new contract. Sure, I think we have... Kentosauruses, we can actually now... Expedition, right? Let's see if we can't find a Kentosaurus DNA. Anything with a K, and there's not very many dinosaurs with the name of a K. Literally none up to this point. Research do we have? Is Lapina entertainment mission? We should probably go back over there and do that entertainment mission to get the Kentosaurus unlocked. 
before we do any more expeditions and stuff like that and make that a like love five star out that island um well that fucking worries me Well, I hope I'm not screwed. If so, it, it really doesn't matter, honestly, if I am. Because this is a basically just the first one before I get all the DLC, and when I play through this game again on stream, it'll probably be when I have all the DLC. And... I'm gonna look up to make sure we don't miss out on any dinosaur DNA. I might want to move the ACU station. That's not what I wanted. When we have power problems, bad things tend to happen. I'd prefer they didn't. So how about making sure your buildings have the power they need? Less about the power, more about me trying to figure out exactly how I want to be doing certain buildings. So, um, guests, go here. I want to make sure we don't travel too far. Something like that. Edit monorail track. That's for future stuff. be subtle with how I do my curves. Alright, that's perfect. Ideal anyways. This is gonna be like a straight... away over there we're gonna get rid of some of these trees and all that jazz so we have more sight lines so each one of these human enclosures is basically gonna be a decent size. All right, it's gonna be a decent size. This will be the first pen. This will be the second pen with a small one over here. This will be the third pen with this one over here, all right? We need a lot more power. 
requires a path connection. That works. Another motel. That's a lot of traveling. But they'll have to deal with that traveling. takes care of that we'll make the other enclosure have another area where we can drop dinos off Source is killing all my stegosauruses. Now we can build a gate. Actually, can we build a gate over here? Yeah, whatever, that's fine with me. We already need more power. We're gonna have to replace some of these with some uh, large ones. Strong outage protection. good I feel we just need to make a oh I know what the issue is a large substation over here and we need to connect the power is connected dead dinosaurs there can't really do anything with the dead dinosaurs yet he word yet uh i mean we can with the acu but we really don't want to hey we can see some dinos over here awesome It's enclosures, not that, because enclosure over here.
but we can't do that in the water so we're gonna make that water go away so we can make a big old circle oh uh, shit need to wait till that's fully built Uh, we need a restroom. Hit that over here. We need a... Restaurant. We want a... Bowling alley, sure. We want a gift shop. We need like a, a little thing over here. Same for food, water, stuff like that. A storm warning. That's just annoying. that we do with the tornado, which is going exactly where I don't want it to go. We are going to... Oh boy, that's annoying. Go back to Isla Pena and then complete those missions, or start to complete those missions. We need a gate for over here. Also, dinosaur danger, where? Oh, two stegosauruses got in. We need an ACU station. Responding to repair 
That'll work. So they got in after the tornado. Waiting for the ACU to be built, then we could deal with that. The nail was not as detrimental as I thought it would be. Let's knock those assholes out. Acknowledged. We'll keep that shield, uh, that down. We'll open this shelter. We'll close that shelter and close that shelter. Leave the other one open. Um, let's edit the route. So now we have gyrospheres active with 110 visitors. And a tur. Twelve bucks. Fourteen bucks. You're gonna spend fourteen bucks for that. At least make a profit of four bucks. We still need restrooms. Really? Whatever, I can deal with it. Shopping demand is still relatively high. Drink and food. Food's kind of getting met. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These has been contracted. That's Stegosaurus right there. En route to top of feeders. Confirming task. Hopefully we can medicate quick enough. We can also open up the shelter here. Oh, no, no. False alarm. False alarm. Collecting asset. Asset requiring collection. We can at least do the research in the other island as well. Uh, we're going to end the episode for YouTube here. Um... I'm hoping I didn't mess up myself and I don't have like I'm gonna have a couple of dinosaurs that only have like 20% genome or something like that We'll see We'll see We're also gonna build some expansions over here. We'll, we'll fix this park later down the line regardless We're gonna move back to Isla Pena and we'll fix that up But if that's it for you for watching me for now For those of you that are watching on YouTube I don't know why I said what I said the way that I said it but anyways I do thank you for stopping by, and I do hope you enjoyed your stay at the kingdom. And until next time, take asset care, and have a good one, YouTube. Bye-bye.